Welcome back. If you're just joining us, I have Saitobe Kayeri, who is a film director as well as writer. He is the brains and part of the team behind The System, a movie here in Kenya, a political thrill to be specific, that goes to outline our political system and the corruption within society. Before we went on break, you said that you feel like as a young people, we are a bit vigilant with what's happening within our political circles. My next question would be, Describe to us, or tell us how it is that film can depict or mirror a certain society at that point in time, how in it, film in itself is such a reflection, it's a mirror of society within that period. Um, first of all, I'd like to say one of my favorite quotes is mm -hmm. by Banksy, the famous graffiti. Um, he once said, film is democratic and accessible. So if you want to change the world, you can use film and not just redecorate it. So mm -hmm. I feel film is a very powerful tool and it can always make people be aware of the situation and to do something and to do the next course of action to change a certain norm or a certain situation around the surrounding. All right, that's yeah. fantastic. Given the fact that um, clearly finances were your biggest challenge, mm -hmm. what else, and not just with the movie The System, perhaps mm -hmm. with the other projects that you've mm -hmm. worked on, mm -hmm. is such a challenge to be a film writer and a film director here mm -hmm. in Kenya? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, we still, the ch film industry is changing quite, quite big. We've seen so many fantastic films mm -hmm. in our cinemas, like for instance, Supermodo, Disconnect. <laughs> uh, we, we are almost getting there, but we have a long way. And it's high time we treated film as an industry in its own mm -hmm. sense. And it's something which can create jobs and can generate revenue even for the government. So I think also the government, I don't want to be the people who say it's idea serikali, mm. no, no, no. But I think it's something they should really look into. And for instance, I would say even filming in Kenya has become so expensive, the licenses and all of oh, they are very expensive and we can use such models such as South Africa where outside, you know, foreigners go and shoot there and they get tax rebates. That's all in policy. Our policies are too strict mm -hmm. in filming in Kenya and it's even expensive for other people to come shoot here. For instance, um, you can see, I'll give an example. There's a film called Eye in the Sky. Sadly, it was shot in South Africa, yet the setting in is, is in Isili. So oh, they wow. had to go to South oh, Africa wow. and set up a small ECLE. So that means the policies are really questionable. So that is something we should really look up to. But I think also the Kenya Film Commission is really, really trying to push for better policies. But also in terms of filming, there's a law which is CAP 222. Mm -hmm. And I think we changed the whole constitution in 2010 but we're still using that law in filming, which was passed in 1960. So, so it's still the same law. We just copy and paste it even with the new constitution. Yes, so which is something we need to revisit. We shall revisit that. But even with all these challenges, do you feel, do you have confidence that Kenya's film industry will perhaps get to the level, I don't want to say for Nigeria or mm -hmm. South Africa, but to that level where we have a lot of films coming here being made locally mm -hmm. by our local um, filmmakers and writers, mm -hmm. where Kenyans can go. This, as much as you go see Black Panther, you mm -hmm. will go and watch the system. Mm -hmm. Do you feel as if Kenya society is appreciative of our very own um, artistic work? Well, it's sort of like a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say, first of all, uh, Kenyans always say that they, we want something that is Kenyan, a Kenyan story. And the question is, what is a Kenyan story? Because we are a very diverse culture, so it is very hard to come up with a concept and a grip that will attract. And also, it's also a challenge for us. Um, uh, like, as filmmakers, we do not do enough marketing. Mm. So we need to come up with a very good, solid marketing strategy so that we can be able to drive people to the theaters to watch our own local Kenyan films. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I think that's my point on that. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Let's um, talk about um, the aspect of collaboration and how important it is. Mm -hmm. For example, with the system, I'm mm -hmm. sure um, with, the, with the music and the sound, you told me that the gentleman called Karanja who did it. Yes. Talk to me about the importance of collaboration within the film industry. Uh, you have to collaborate. You can do by yourself. It's not a one-man show or mm -hmm. a one-woman show per se, but uh, it's very good to collaborate, like you bring in different people with different skills. 
for instance, the, the wonderful music was done by Karanja, and of course, a producer was Mumo. We had even our makeup artist was Yvonne, and you know, we just, and the good thing is about, about this, it's all young people, you know. Um, in an average, the average age of our crew is around 26 years old. So it's very important to collaborate. You have to collaborate in order to get good quality work, and you have to work as a team in order to achieve what you want to achieve. All right, um, talk to me, this, uh, this will be your closing remarks. Mm -hmm. What would you be your closing remarks to your fellow film writers mm -hmm. and directors and even towards Kenyans as you're working um, to making this Fantastic Seven trailer into mm -hmm. a movie? Uh, I'd, I'd say to my fellow filmmakers, I think the most important thing is story is king. Always story is king, no matter what. So you have to really come up with a good story concept that will attract people. And also, I'd like to, in regards to this film, um, that's just a small teaser. And mm. just like to tell, I'd just like to tell everyone out there, they can go to our website, which is www.systemthefilm.com. They can go on Facebook, System the Film, Twitter, Instagram. They can just have a look at it and see the journey. Um, so we'd like to appeal anyone who is interested and would like to be part of this project to just contact us and also to go through our M Changa fund and support us to make this film a reality. I hope you get all the support that you need to make that seven trailer uh, into an actual movie. It's yes. fantastic and I yeah. wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Um, Saitobi, Saitoba rather, Kayeri, who is a writer and a director of the film that we've just watched, The 